everyone, Jen Wiggins here with Let's Talk Tampa. I'm at a very special place today, as you can see. I'm here with the CEO of the Florida Aquarium, Roger German. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thanks for coming over to the yes. Florida Aquarium. Yes, exciting. Well, thank you for having me. And who do we have here today? Special guests. We do have one of our special guests. So this is Shelly, uh, an endangered uh, African uh, penguin. Um, who is 12 years old and resides here at the Florida Aquarium. And folks who come down for a visit can do two things. One is you can see Shelly up close in one of our behind the scenes opportunities, but even more importantly, learn about what's happening in our oceans and the blue oceans because they are great ambassador animals to tell the story of, uh, of all the things that are happening, unfortunately and fortunately, yeah. you know, out in our oceans. That's amazing. Well, tell me a little more about Shelly. How old is he? Well, he's 12 years old. Uh, uh, and uh, he gets great care here at the Florida Aquarium. We really pride ourselves on animal welfare and animal care and health. So uh, uh, he is doing really well. What's really, really unique is that they are flightless birds. Oh. So they are bird, uh, but they are flightless. But they, uh, they they can get up to five, six miles an hour in the water, oh um, and uh, which is pretty incredible. They are found uh, uh, in South Africa um, and the warm weather penguins. So folks say, hey, you're here in Tampa. Yeah. You got penguins. Is that really good? But in South South Africa compared to Antarctica, uh -huh. right? It's a, it's a lot warmer. So right. Shelly is at home here um, and, and, and lives a great life. The other thing I would say is if you notice the coloration um, and how it varies, uh, you know, between the black and white, it's a great opportunity for them to have camouflage. Uh, oh. Make sure they can stay away from predators. Also, their, their uh, food sources don't always maybe see them uh, uh, coming up, but Shelly is uh, is a fantastic member of the Florida Aquarium oh. family and is exploring a little bit over yes. here. Yes, <laughs> he found a little spot back here. Oh my gosh, well nice to meet you Shelly. So people can come here and meet the penguins, they can do like a, a private tour or something? or. Yeah, there's a couple opportunities to see the penguins. Cool. So, and so a couple times throughout the day, you come uh, to the aquarium and in our lobby area, we have some special presentations where oh. you can see a penguin up close. Or, what, as you said, you can come back and come see the penguins behind the scenes Ooh, and, and get a chance to meet them up fun. more close. Very cool. Well, thank you, Shelly, for being here today. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about the aquarium. I think you have your 25th anniversary coming up. Is that right? We do. We're excited. I mean, 25 years here in, uh, in uh, downtown Tampa, uh, mm -hmm. but also serving the Tampa Bay region as well as, as the state. And, you know, we're, we're excited to be able to celebrate our past, but really looking forward to the future. We're going to be doing a lot more fun promotional opportunities. We're going to be doing great uh, uh, community engagement programs. And so we yeah. are excited about what the next year uh, holds in store and as we look to the future uh, for the Florida Aquarium. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Lots of fun things coming up. I know you have some winter events going on right now too. I saw um, there's like a snow day and, and I think a, an IMAX movie or something of the Polar Express. Yeah. Or, tell me about those. Yeah, so one of the things that is really great is, you know, you spend the holidays. I mean, you know, places like the Florida Aquarium really give you an opportunity to, to create memories and those family bonding moments uh, and just have some fun. So two things that are very, very special to me and important are, as you mentioned, so in our 40 theater, you can come see the Polar Express for a limited mm -hmm. time. So it's it's fantastic and think 3D, but when you go to 4D, you know, you got a couple of those extra little fun uh, 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 experiences that happen where there. So come, you know, limited time, come see Polar Express. Okay. And on the same token, we live in Tampa, we live in the Sunshine State, right? Should never be snow here, but at the Florida Aquarium between Christmas and New Year's, we have our very, very popular snow days. And so Ooh. it's a whole, you know, immersive experience, including we make our own snow. So come on down, you know, bring out a nice. shovel, make a snowball, a little snowman, and, and uh, enjoy snow days at the Florida Aquarium. Oh, that's perfect, especially for with winter break coming up and the kids out of school. It's a great time to bring them by and play in the snow. I love it. That's yeah. Amazing that you do that. Well, it's super fun in a couple of ways if you think about it. One, you have folks who have been born here, raised here, who've never maybe seen snow. Yeah. So it's their version of snow which can be a little slushy, but it's a ver <laughs> version of snow, right? And then you have folks like myself who relocated here from the north or all the snowbirds that come down mm -hmm. and, you know, they kind of miss it around this time of oh. year. So they get a chance to come over and experience a little bit of snow uh, in many ways. And so, again, it's extremely popular. I definitely encourage folks to go online, buy your tickets ahead of time. Sure. Uh, but uh, but we're excited to, again, host snow days here at the Florida Aquarium. Oh, exciting. Well, I'll make sure to put the information in the video for all the snow days, the dates and times and where to get your tickets. Um, tell me a little bit about the um, coral project that you're all working on. I've, I noticed you just started it in August, I believe. 
Yeah, so, so one of the things that we do here, and people don't always realize it, so we talk about fun things like snow days and 40 theaters and mm -hmm. seeing Shelley, but we're a nonprofit organization and we are really uh, a conservation-based aquarium. And so we do a lot to save our blue planet and, and a kind of our underwater neighborhood. So portions of ticket sales go towards funding our conservation programs. So in reference to coral, one of the things we've been doing over the last five years, and we had a major breakthrough this past year back in August, mm -hmm. is uh, it was, we were the first to uh, reproduce coral uh, in human care. Uh, Atlantic coral, I should say, in human care. Wow. And that's a game changer because right here in Florida, at the uh, down in the Keys, the Florida Reef Track, which is there, is the third largest coral reef track in the world. We all don't realize that, right? But mm -hmm. it's a, a lot of pressures from climate change, a lot of pressures from <laughs> human interaction. And so one of the things we're trying to do is reproduce coral, grow coral, and replant back in the ocean to kind of save these important reefs yeah. that, uh, that, that just make Florida so unique and our environment so unique. Mm -hmm. so, so we're doing a lot on coral. Um, and again, folks who, who, who their, their ticket proceeds as well as uh, uh, you know, uh, philanthropy all help us do great science. We do sea turtle work. We do all kinds of fun educational work. And so being that nonprofit so cool. here in Tampa is important to us. Yeah, and I know you help with the sea turtles as well. Yeah, so we opened, so we're coming up on one year anniversary of opening up a $4 million sea turtle rehabilitation center. Oh um, and so these, uh, you know, it, turtles, especially the endangered turtles, which you can find up and down, not only the Florida waterways, but up and down the, you know, the whole Atlantic seaboard, mm -hmm. um, you know, they have issues. And so whether it's, you know, an entanglement in plastic or a boat strike, or what we see this time of year is, believe it or not, it's called cold stun, but it's really frostbite. Oh. So turtles get frostbite, they just need to be warmed up often. And so we oh. get the phone calls from, from government officials who say hey you know we've got you know one two twenty turtles that need some help can the Florida Aquarium help we bring those animals in we, we nurse them back to health um, and then we get them back in the wild as quick as we can that's so wonderful it's it is it's exciting turtles keep them go and get them through the cold months <laughs> it's true and again it's hard to believe again a turtle would get frostbite right, right. from that standpoint but they do yeah. and just need a little bit of warming up and then they can yeah. get right back out there in the, in the ocean and that's keep the species you. going Oh, well, good. And I know I've asked you earlier, I see a lot of turtles personally on the road. I've, I've heard about people picking them up off, off the road. What should people do if they do see a, a turtle, whether you know, it just be some other type of tortoise out in the wild, that's not where it's supposed to be? Yeah, I think, you know, but, you know, in the case of turtles, but really any animal, one of the mm -hmm. things that we encourage folks to do is contact the local fish and wildlife authorities. And that, that's just really the best way to go. Because you just don't know if, the, you know, if the animal is injured, especially a turtle. You don't know if the animal is, you know, is uh, uh, an invasive species. And so, th so the key is to really make sure that, uh, you know, the professionals have it. So you can go mm -hmm. online. You can find out their, their phone numbers right away. Perfect. Uh, at times, you know, you can, you know, check with the Florida Aquarium. We're happy to make those connections as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but keep wildlife in, you know, in the wild yes. uh, from that time. don't bring it home and you know like oh I'm gonna nurture no. it and get it back uh, let the professionals do what the professionals need to do and uh, uh, and that's the best way to go okay perfect well we've got a, a penguin tangle up here <laughs> <laughs> Shelly Shelly is you know CEO for the day just being able to use our office perfect. space and, and own the Florida Aquarium it's today so cute I love it so last thing the moon bay um, exhibit I believe is what it's called yeah. tell me about that so one of the unique things that we've been doing over the last few years is really investing in the experience here and opening up new exhibits. So Moon Bay is our newest exhibit opened up uh, in the summer of 2019. Cool. Here's what's really cool about it. There's only four places in North America where you can go and actually touch a moon jelly. And a moon jelly, not a moon jellyfish, a moon jelly. Um, and you wow. think about it, right? You're here in Florida and you're always told, stay yeah. away from the jelly, stay away from the jellies. Good thing to do, by the way. Okay, but good. on the same token, come to the Florida Aquarium and get a chance to touch them um, and, and really learn about them. They play a really, really important role, uh, you know, in the ecosystem. And, you know, and oftentimes they are food for the sea turtles we talked about earlier. Um, and so come to Moon Bay, come check it out. Cool. Actually touch a jelly, which, which again, it seems kind of oh counterintuitive. Gosh, it totally is. <laughs> but it's super exciting and, uh, and it's a great way, again, to spend uh, uh, the holidays. It's a great way to spend, uh, you know, kind of the weekends and time yeah. and have fun, learn about the environment, and then hopefully folks will get a chance to walk out of here and make the, the planet a better place. Right, that's for sure. Well, cool. Come touch a jellyfish. You never thought you'd hear that, right? Absol absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anything else you want to share about this amazing place here in Tam uh, Channel Side area? of Tampa. Yeah, I think, you know, again, I, I just, we just want everybody to come down here and have fun. This is 
the Florida Aquarium. This is your aquarium, Tampa, Tampa Bay. This is a place to come and just have fun, learn. Um, and also, I think just again, that people understand that, you know, they're getting tickets that they purchase, uh, memberships that they purchase, which are a great way to come often, mm -hmm. um, or even donations go to a really worthy cause. We are a nonprofit. And so when we talk about, you know, saving the Shelleys of the world, we right. talk about the sea turtles, you know, we put that back into our conservation and education and community programs, but we also want to provide a fun time. So I just encourage everybody to come down, uh, experience the Florida Aquarium. A lot of new things have happened here, so we're not the same aquarium that you'd even recognize three, four years ago. Wow. Something's always changing here, and uh, cool. and just enjoy your aquarium, our aquarium, the Florida Aquarium. Yay! Well, we're so lucky to have this here in the Channel Site area. Thank you so much, Roger, for having me and for everyone who gets to watch this video. It's so informational and so exciting. Come meet your uh, penguins. Come touch the jellyfish. Come check out the snow. I will put all the information in this video. Thank you so much again, Roger. Oh, it's great to have you here. Oh. Hope to see you in this, uh, running yes. around in the snow. I'll be back with my children very soon. <laughs> Wonderful. That's great. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you all for watching and have a great winter break. Bye.